In this new chapter, you will learn yet another very common operation that you can do with dynamic data. In this chapter, you will learn how to update an existing record in the database. The main process, once again, is very simple and straightforward. First, of course, you need to query the database for existing data. And to do that, you will use a CF query with a select SQL statement. You know how to do that by now. Then you will use that data to populate a form with that existing data. And this is where this process differs from what you have done in the previous chapter when inserting new data. In this case, the form will not be empty when the process begins. It will be already filled with the existing data that you have retrieved from the database in the previous step. Then, of course, the user can interact with the form and submit the new data. Then, when the new data is submitted, you first need to check that new data for compliance, so server-side and client-side validation, and if the data complies with the rules, you can safely write an update SQL statement to update the data in the database. And at the end, of course, it's always good to provide some feedback to the user and let the user know that something successful, hopefully, has taken place. So this is the table of content of this chapter. First, you will learn some more CF form goodies. You will learn actually about the rich text editor that comes bundled with ColdFusion. Then you will query the database for existing data and use that data to populate a form. Of course, you will, after that, learn how to write the update SQL statement and, at the end, provide feedback to the user finalizing the process. Notice that we won't talk about data validation in this chapter anymore because validating the data when you update a record or when you insert a new record, it's exactly the same process. So you have learned that in the previous chapter and we won't go back to those concepts in this chapter. So with that being said, let's jump right into it and let's learn another very useful and very common database operation.